with highly adaptable limbs and bodies. They ruled the ancient sea, and they were the first creatures to venture onto land. They invaded every realm of the planet, equipped by nature to survive almost any challenge. They're called arthropods. And one of the secrets of their success, jointed legs. Legs which can bend about a hinged joint provide great stability and shock absorption. Perfect features for an all-terrain vehicle. With their many joints, each leg has tremendous flexibility. Tendons attached to powerful muscles produce a range of motion. To help guide them through their world, arthropods developed a package of onboard sensors, appendages like antennas, and the first complex eyes capable of perceiving sharp images. But most importantly, their legs and body segments could easily adapt to almost any new opportunity. A small evolutionary push turns a walking leg into a grasping claw. Take the segmented swimming tail of the lobster, tuck it underneath, and you've got a sand burrowing crab. The basic arthropod body plan, with segments and legs, packs an incredible potential to adapt and evolve. As a result, there are more arthropods in the world's oceans than any other group. And each species is a variation on the same arthropod theme. Their seemingly countless appendages were deployed in many revolutionary ways. The arthropods' dominance of the sea was greatly aided by one of the most important aspects of their body plan, their skeleton. An arthropod wears its skeleton outside its body. This hard shell serves not only as support, but as body armor, shielding its soft inner organs from harm. There are times, however, when an arthropod must leave its armor behind. In order to grow, it undergoes one of the most amazing transformations in the animal kingdom. First, the mounting pressures of its growing body crack open its exoskeleton. Beneath the shell, a soft, new skeleton has been developing. In less than 30 minutes of struggling and squirming, this crab breaks free of its old skeleton, a process called molting. It emerges with an entirely new covering, from legs to body to eyes. Its soft new skeleton will inflate quickly to a larger shell and harden during the next two days. For the soft shell crab, a prized meal of many predators and humans, it's a dangerous two days. Yet when the shell hardens, their appendages strengthen and uniquely sophisticated tools for exploiting every opportunity are ready for action. 
They are highly versatile and vigorous eaters. While their claws tear into a dead fish, their mouth appendages whirl in a flurry of activity. Some help with eating, some with breathing, as they sweep water across the gills. Arthropods arose and thrived in an ancient era when life was diversifying explosively. And they succeeded across time in an arms race of size and strength. What enables them to thrive in places where we are hard pressed to survive unaided? In a land of permanent winter, they flourish beneath thrashing flows of Arctic ice, and the cold sea provides a rich bounty as a result of their presence. In one of the Earth's most extreme environments, along the ocean's deep trenches, crabs prosper amidst toxic hydrothermal vents. Beneath its helmet-like shell, the horseshoe crab is hardly ferocious. But one aspect of its behavior today may explain why marine creatures first stepped out of the sea long ago. Horseshoe crabs find their mates in the water, but then they journey to the edge of the ocean. These living fossils leave the sea briefly, like a landing army, to lay their eggs beyond the water on a beach. Protected from the harsh environment by moist sand, their sealed eggs actually develop on land. Unable to extract oxygen from air, this line of arthropods was consigned to a life beneath the waves. But other arthropods would not be stopped. Those that left the sea could invent a whole toolkit with which to conquer the land. Tasting. Sensing. Grasping and finally winging their way to dominance. The long saga of arthropods is one of the great stories of life on Earth. Nearly half a billion years ago, they came to dominate the world's oceans, and they were the first of all creatures to climb onto land. 